Well, hello, 1P. We're going to talk about average speed today. Our goal, I can find the average speed of an object by looking at a distance versus time graph. Um, so we talked about this before, that where if you have a distance time graph, a straight line shows steady or constant speed. It's not changing. You're driving at a constant rate. The speedometer on your car is steady on a certain uh, speed. Hopefully not any more than the speed limit. Okay. A horizontal line shows no change, uh, which means that you're not moving. Okay. On a distance time graph, if you sit at 40 kilometers distance for five minutes, you have not gone anywhere because you're still at 40 kilometers. So can we tell exactly what speed is represented represented for a straight section? Uh, remember that for average speed, it's distance over time, um, which is things like kilometer per hour or meters per second or even meters per hour if you're going really, really slow. Um, all we really need to do if we have that graph is to draw a couple of triangles. So I'm going to show you on here, we're going to look at the red lines first, okay? Um, and in fact, we're going to look at this one to start with. From the beginning to the end of the section of steady pace, we see that he travels how many meters? Okay, we're going to draw in the triangle. I'm going to go here. This is what I mean by triangle. I'm going to draw a right angle triangle so that the straight line section is the hypotenuse of that right angle triangle. So I've got the straight line section and I've got these two arms. Okay, So we can see that he travels how many meters? Well, he goes from zero meters up to eight meters. So he must have traveled eight meters. And in how many seconds is that? Well, he goes from zero seconds to four seconds. So that's in four seconds. So we can calculate the unit rate. Um, Remember when we did unit rate before? The unit rate, or actually let's not put that down, let's say um, 8 meters in 4 seconds is what we have. And if I want to change that into how many meters for 1 second, I do 8 meters divided by 4 seconds tells me that that is 8 divided by 4 is 2 meters per second. Okay. But we don't have to do that same triangle. I could, and I'm going to use a different color, I'm going to use the blue this time, um, I could look at a smaller portion of the graph uh, for let's say the first second. So in this first second, and I'm going to draw that blue on the first second, and then I'm going to draw this up. So here's my little triangle that represents the first second. So in the first second, we see that he travels, well, in the first second, he goes from zero, and at the end of that first second, he's at two. So he goes two meters, and since it was only the first second, it was in one second. So two meters in one second, which gives us a rate of two meters per second. There's no division to go on there, because that is the unit rate. Um, or how about a section from two seconds to four seconds? Okay, that's going to be a little bit trickier. Uh, I want to go from two to four. So I'm going to go up to where the graph is at two. So here's my two. I'm going to go up to the graph at two, right there. And I'm going to go draw my line from two to four. And then I'm going to finish that triangle on that section. Okay. So now from two to four seconds, how many seconds have passed? That's one, two seconds. So that's two seconds have passed. And how, how much space has passed here in this yellow triangle? Uh, well, if we take a look, it goes from four seconds to eight seconds. So we can count it. We can go one, two, three, four. Or we can say eight minus 4 equals 4 and figure out what that distance is. So this distance is 4 meters. So he went 4 meters in 2 seconds. Uh, so this is going to give us a unit rate of 4 meters per 2 seconds equals 2 meters 
per second. So notice that it did not matter at all which triangle I used. I ended up seeing that along that straight line section, it's a distance of two meters per second. Now I'm going to take a look at the other two sections of this red one just briefly. This one here, right there, is zero meters per second and I know that because it's horizontal. He's not going anywhere. He sat at eight meters for one, two, three seconds and if you are at eight meters for three seconds and you don't go anywhere, you stay at that eight meters, you're not moving, so it's zero meters per second. Now along this section, we're going back the other direction, so we have to be a little bit careful here. I'm going to draw a triangle. Now I have to pick nice points on this triangle. This is a nice point. By nice point, I mean one that crosses right where those two lines cross. Okay, so I've got one here that crosses on, on an intersection of vertical and horizontal grid. Um, and then I'm going to go along till I find another one, and I don't actually find another one till down here. And that um, crosses at the nice section. So I'm going to draw on my triangle. I go straight down and straight over. That's how we draw a triangle. I could draw it the other way, over this way and over that way. But I just have to make sure that my branches of the triangle are vertical and horizontal so that I have a right angle triangle. Now, let's check out what the rise and run are here. I go from 8 to 0. So this whole thing is 8 meters. And when I said it was a rise, that's, we understand rise and run, and I'm going to be talking about that a little bit more in a minute. So I go from 0 to 8 meters, or from 8 to 0 meters, and since I'm actually going 8 to 0, it's not rising at all, it's falling. So we say that that's a negative, because I'm going down when I go from this point to this point. You always read a graph from left to right. And along here, I go from 7 to 10. So that is 1, 2, 3 jumps, or 10 take away 7 is 3. So this section of the graph for unit rate is negative 8 divided by 3, which equals uh, 2.7, negative 2.7 meters per second, if we have it as a unit rate. Okay, so that's good and marked up that thing. Um, so we've just found a method for finding the unit rate from a graph. When we draw out our little triangle on the grid, the vertical leg of the triangle is the rise. Um, vertical means up and down, and the vertical is the rise, and the horizontal, which is left and right, is the run. So the rate of change is the rise divided by the run. Okay. This is how we find the unit rate on our graph, or in the case that we're talking about, the speed. Now I want you to note that the steeper the line, the greater the rate of change. Um, the steeper the line, the greater the speed in this case. So now we're going to look at the blue line in that grid. It's steeper than any of the red ones, so that must mean it's going to be faster. So if we draw our triangle, we can find the rise and run. Now I'm going to give this to you in step by step. So step one says, draw a triangle between two nice points. So I'm going to take the green again. Where's my two nice points? Well, here's one. That crosses at, and remember what I mean by nice? It crosses at one of the natural intersections between the horizontal and the vertical. Um, now, here's another nice one. So there's two nice ones. I can draw my triangle between those two nice ones. It doesn't matter which two nice ones. We could have picked the first one, too, because it looks pretty nice. But I'm just going to use these ones here. So I've drawn the triangle between my two nice points. Uh, now it says, use the scale to determine the vertical rise and the horizontal run of the triangle. So the triangle, the vertical here, it goes from, if we're looking up to down, it goes from 5 to 10. So we do 10 take away 5, that's 5 steps up along there. And along the horizontal, I'm going from 1 to 2. That's only one step. So this is 5 meters up by 1 second, which means that I think we already have our unit rate because unit rate is always given in 1 second. So here we go. Distance is the divide the rise by the run. So in this case, our unit rate 
or speed. Speed equals the rise we found to be 5 meters divided by the one run, which is 1 second, gives us 5 meters per second. 5 divided by 1 is simply 5. Okay, now here's another one. How fast is the boat? Distance time graph for a boat tour. Okay, let's have a look. We've got to draw a triangle. And it doesn't matter where. We could draw this triangle right in here if I wanted to. If I want to draw that little triangle between those, because those are nice points there, I would see that the rise goes from 0 to 10. So the rise is 10, and the run goes from 0 to 1. So the run is 1. So our speed, our unit rate, equals rise over run, which in this case is 10 over 1. Or 10, and this was 10 meters over 1 second, so this is, oh sorry, kilometers, an hour, not meters per second. 10 kilometers, because it says that up the side, it said kilometers per hour. So it's going 10 kilometers per hour. Now what if I had picked a different triangle? Well I could have picked a different triangle. Let's pick these this triangle here. Doop de doo. -dee -dee. Now, what's the rise here? What's this distance here? Well, it goes from 30 to 50. 50 take away 30 equals 20. So it has a rise of 20 kilometers. And along this section, well, that's going from 3 to 5. And 5 take away 3, 5 take away 3 is 2 hours. So we would have found rise over run speed equals rise over run which would be a rise of 20 and a run of 2 which is 20 divided by 2 is 10 and remember that was 20 kilometers an hour so it's 10 kilometers per hour which is exactly the same answer using a different triangle I got exactly the same answer because it's all part of that straight line section it's going the same speed the whole way along so to summarize let's take a look at this graph um, this line is fast it's speedy uh, it's steep this line is steady so it's still constant um, and it's uh, it's not as steep. This here is stationary, it means it doesn't go anywhere across the left to right there because it's flat so you don't cover any distance in a long period of time and then this is negative because you're returning back. Now here if you have a curved line it means that your speed is not constant so a curved section of the graph shows either acceleration which means that you are speeding up or deceleration which means that you are slowing down so anytime you see a curve it means you're speeding up or slowing down so it doesn't matter where you draw your triangle or how big you make it along a steady section of the graph you'll always get the same unit rate and we've seen that over and over again so we're going to try this one for each section of the graph and remember we're looking for nice points along the graph now first of all I'm going to point at the graph in a in the spots that are really easy. This is zero and this is in meters per second. So zero meters per second. This section of the graph is zero meters per second and this section of the graph is zero meters per second. Now let's look at the slanted ones. I gotta find some nice points. There's a nice point and there's a nice point. So we have to deal with the rise this section, make our little triangle in here, over the run, which is this section. So let's look at the rise. It goes from 4 to 8. So we do 8 subtract 4 is 4 meters. And across here it goes from 2 to 4. Across the bottom it goes from 2 to 4. So that is 4 subtract 2. This is 2 seconds. So for O to A, O, A, the, I'm going to call it the rate of change, the rock, equals 
4 meters in 2 seconds, which is 2 meters per second. Now, how about B? Let's look for some nice points on B. Well, this is a nice point, so B to C, and this one. That looks like a nice point. So, we draw in our triangle, and let's use a different color here. I have to figure out this side. So this side goes from 10 all the way down to, this is a 3. So 10 take away 3 is 7. So that height is 7. You could count it if you want, um, but sometimes the scale isn't isn't up by 1, so you got to be careful there. And 10 to 12 is 2 seconds in here. So for BC, the rate of change, or the rock, equals 7, but remember it's going down, so we're going to say it's negative 7 meters over 2 seconds. So that is negative 3.5, because 7 divided by 2 is 3.5 meters per second. And the last thing I want to do is E to F, and we're looking for two nice points on E to F. I'm going to use red this time. Um, there's a nice point, and uh, that looks like a pretty nice point. So let's draw our triangle on there, and we got to figure out the rise and the run. So the rise goes from here, which is 4 to 0, so 4 subtract 0, this is a run of rise of 4, and from 16 to 20 is also a, ri a run of 4. Okay. So from D to E, our rock rate of change equals the rise, the distance you go up, 4 meters, over the run, the distance you go over, which is also 4 seconds, so that's one meter per second. And that concludes this video.